Um, here today to talk to you about your exhibition um, of land, sea and people in the Western Ireland Art Gallery this upcoming bank holiday weekend. Could you tell me a little bit about the show? Um, when the show comes out of many years of association with ACL and with the recent past of my own work, you know. So it's a combination of those two or three things, different elements of that, strands of things, you know, coming from that. And uh, I've been working on Irish Jewish famine themes, historical themes now for the last couple of uh, couple of years, you know. And there's a there's a body of new work here. Nearly half of the sculpture and the drawings are new, so it'll be and uh, the drawings particularly are focused on some of the sculpture as well on Ackle. Mm, yeah, because there's, I've there's lived, lived in yeah. Ackle on and off in the Bull House and in different locations over the last thirty 35 years. So it's always appealed to me. And you had a show with us before, um, a couple of years back, East, East yeah. Meets West. What, yeah. are your, what are your memories of that? Uh, fantastic reception. I really loved it. Uh, I thought uh, uh, the response was enormous and uh, it was a great feeling, you know, from, from local people and from people coming in to the island from outside. So I think it worked very well. And I, I think uh, Sean Cannon was very happy with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, in terms of, uh, I suppose, part, part of that show, some of the work would have came from the famine ship in Maersk and its sister piece uh, in New York outside the United uh, Nations building. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I find that quite interesting, especially in relation to Ackle, because at the moment, um, the tradition of music is that, as you know, a lot of people in my generation are, are leaving leaving Ireland and coming back, and yeah. the States is obviously a big place where yeah. you're visiting, and um, yeah. obviously it's a very different type of immigration, but it's related to Ackle because uh, a lot of the guys over there are playing music, and uh, yeah. some of your sculpture deals with the immigration and music and also Ackle. Yeah, it does, and this show will de deal with it too. Um, there's some, some, there's some family chips, and there's, there's one or two images of musicians and uh, I've always been keen on the, the kind of correlation that de develops between Irish people when they travel they bring the music with them. They don't have to uh, invent it, you know, it's already there. When I heard some wonderful, uh, some wonderful um, music last October, I was over in Connecticut at the uh, opening of the Irish Famine Museum and there was a, a man, very well known musician, Mick Maloney, and a group, a troupe of musicians, and they were, and dancers, you know, the dancing is very important as well. And it was wonderful to see them uh, adapting the music, but changing it and making it new. As Ezra Pound said, always make something new out of what's there before, you know. That's the challenge for the artist. And, and obviously with your, with your sculptures are very animated and they bring, they bring that to life. Um, but, uh, but in terms of your drawings, could you tell me a little bit about your, your drawings and your paintings that would be in the show? Yeah, well the, the paintings and drawings are, uh, there's eight or nine of them based specifically on Ackle. Um, naturally enough my own experience, but I went to the past and went to the archives and dug out old photographs and that kind of thing and, and related to my experience and try and make a statement about what I uh, felt and knew about Echo. So um, I'm really looking forward to the opening of the show because uh, I've put a lot of uh, work into it. And uh, as I say, there's an Irish Jewish theme there as well. And of course, the great statement by any Irish man uh, about any of the Jewish kind of uh, relationships between Ireland and, and, and uh, Jewish people is the Ulysses by James Joyce and the, uh, the whole relationship between Mr. Bloom, who's Jewish, and Ireland as a background, Dublin in particular. And uh, I'm exploring that as well, you know. Uh, that, that all sounds very interesting and uh, looking, forward to, looking forward to the next uh, Bank Holiday weekend, June Bank Holiday weekend, and uh, having you down to Ackle. Yeah, well, I, I'm really looking forward to being there, Shane. Thank you very much. No worries. Sorry.